Hello friends, I hope you're all doing great. So today the topic of the video will be the most relevant since I received a lot of questions from you about where it's the best to farm equipment for your heroes. And especially often they ask questions about where to farm a sword. Their answer is one friends, it's all random and where to knock out this or that item it's all random. But there is a pattern and still there is a better chapter for farm. I consider three versions of chapters. The first one is the chapter in which we are to have 50 floors and I used to think that this chapter is the best for farm. If I was right, we'll find out today. The second chapter of which I considered is the chapter with waves, when you don't have so many floors but the mobs are the same number. And the third chapter is one in which there are only bosses. Friends, by tradition, I ask you to subscribe to the channel. We will soon have 1500 people. It's very cool and I'm sure that we can do it in the near future. And also put likes if the video was unuseful for you. Thank you guys. Uh, which chapters I considered? Of course, uh, these are chapters that make it possible to immediately knock out green graduation uniforms. And those chapters that are easy enough for me to farm. In case you know, uh, green gear starts dropping from hero Heroic Chapter 17. You can choose below chapters if you have not reached yet those chapters that I took to, for your consideration. And so the chapters that I considered are 23, there are 50 floors, chapter 24, uh, there are waves of mobs, and chapters number 28, there are only one bosses. So let's look at the first option, chapter 23. I want to say right away that the passage of this chapter was the longest for me because the transitions between floors take a lot of time and I don't really like it. Also in chapter 23 there are mobs that particularly disappear from view and then they appear again guys. I want to say right away that the game stones in this chapter fell out very well. I went through it 20 times and you can see it in total tab the number of things that I got. In general the result is not bad. On average two things fell out with the passage of a full chapter. I highlighted in red when I got green uniforms in this chapter. Yes, for 20 times passing through this chapter, I only got one green item. In general, I am satisfied with the result, but I decided that I need to move on and continue farming in other chapters. And now the next chapter that I consider is chapter 24. Here waves of mobs uh, will be waiting for you. Pretty handy chapter for f to farm, guys. Uh, transitions between rooms are reduced by two times compared to previous chapter. I will say that the speed of passage is 1.5 times faster and let's look at the indicators for dropping uh, uniforms. How less you go? I managed to farm 60 pieces of various gear. This includes that one average I got 3 pieces of equipment for each playthrough. And then I was really pleasantly surprised. You see, I was wrong then. I thought that the best chapter for farm are the chapters where there are 50 floors. The main variable friends is that the green closes fell to me more often, as you can see. Uh, I highlighted in red color and there are were four such chapters, which is very cool. Here I, I was very pleasantly surprised and realized for myself that chapters with the waves are really cool for farm. But we have uh, one more chapter to test and then you will see it. And the last chapter for today that you will check uh, is the chapter where there are only one bosses, namely chapter number 28. I will say right away when the pharmacy of this particular chapter takes place, then you limit yourself in the drop of games. 
Here they fall extremely rarely, which is really not very good. As for the time, this chapter seems to me the fastest in terms of speed, which I like it. Uh, the transition between chapters are very fast because there are only 10 of them and you don't have to kill a lot of mobs, but only the bosses and sometimes a couple of assistants. And so according to the results, as you can see on your screens, it turns out to get a little less equipment than in the chapter with waves and little more than in chapter with 50 floors. It's good that I also got a lot of green uniforms here. I was also pleasantly surprised, also in favor of chapter 28. I wanted to say that the amount of gold is very pleasant. I can endure somewhere around 100,000 of uh, on average. When I made a video about farming bloodsucker stones, this chapter was the top one. But as you can see from the outfit farm, it's still uh, inferior. But its advantage is that this completely very quickly. And so friends, now the results that you see on your screens say that the best chapter to farm is chapters with waves. If you can play the chapter I give examples, then you can go a little lower. For example, chapter number 16, it's quite easy and it's good to farm. Uh, if you can handle this chapter 16, then you can safely go to chapter number 10. And there are waves there too. So now we figure out where the best place to farm for a faster collection of equipment. The results are really cool. Now you definitely should not have any questions about where is the best place to farm your equipment. And you will not have a time to look back as your closest will be mythical. Uh, as it uh, now with me, friends. But remember that you don't need uh, to dissemble things. You only need to do the top for today. You can watch on the channel. Uh, there is a video about top weapons. It's a really cool video. You should watch it if you haven't seen it before. Armor and things also. I have those videos on my channel. I hope that the video was useful for you and informative. Now the matter is small. It's a big request to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you, it was very useful for you. And well, we will see you in the next videos, friends. Bye bye, guys, and see you soon.